clock in, clock out from nine to five. Clock in, clock out like a nine to five. All I want to see is a dollar sign. D, C, G. Ah, this motherfucker. Hey, y'all. Um. So, as you guys should have seen in the last video that I actually got my car to turn on. The most simplest thing ever that I overlooked so much. Because sometimes it be, the, it be the little things, man. Legit. The ground from the engine valve cover to the chassis was not on. That's what caused my car not to turn on for all that time. And I overlooked it. I never realized that it wasn't even like connected. And you're probably wondering how to get disconnected. I'm pretty sure I disconnected it when I took off the turbo because I had to take off the manifold and that shit was in the way. And I just forgot to put it back on. So all that time that my car wasn't running, it was because of that. Wow. Wow. But right now I know I have a little bit of a uh, oil leak from the the return line. Oh. <clears throat> from the return line on the turbo. I have an oil leak, so I gotta fix that, but I'm not too worried about it right now. And um, sorry, I just seen the boys. I seen them boys, you know what I'm saying? We seen them boys, they all have a play. But anyway, so yeah, I gotta fix that, but that's a little issue. It's not nothing serious. I just have to uh, wipe it down. I gotta see if it's coming from. It's coming from either, it's coming from somewhere right there. It's either the line going into the turbo, the feeding line, or it's the return line. It's one of those. But nothing to worry about right now. Um, because I got the car on, so that's like the least of my worries right now. And uh, let me see what else. Also, I know I need to weld a bung onto the oil pad so I can put the other fitting to go to the to oil pan to screw on like I said all this stuff excuse me I don't know why I'm like belching so much but all this stuff is very minimal things like you guys are probably wondering am I gonna go get the cartoon now since it's working yes and no so I'm not gonna get the cartoon yet because I might get deployed so it wouldn't make sense to pay like 300 and something dollars to get a tune for the car just to sit for nine months or less so I figure it'd be better if I just tune it when I get back because that way I gotta have money to go I can put my uh, I can put my camera kit in the rear on I, got, I still got the skunk suit camera kit that I never put on I need to put that on for the front and the back and I can get alignment and then I can go get a dyno so yeah then I want to get I want to upgrade my rotors and get drilling slotted rotors and possibly bigger brakes but I gotta make sure the brakes are gonna clear so I don't know if I wanna get that yet cause I wanna upgrade the brakes and then I'm about to leave and I got issues with you know I don't wanna go through that so I'll wait till I get to my next duty session for that but yeah it's pretty much up there the integer as of that last video now today I had issues I finally watered my gauges back up because my gauges weren't reading anything but it's because I had uh I didn't have them plugged into the radio uh, fuse so if you have gauges just plug those into the radio fuse Under the dash and then just ground it somewhere the white and the blue are just data cables You don't really need those unless you really care about that. I don't really care about that I'm not that Far into my you know, that's probably like I don't know. That's more than what I'm trying to do I just like the gauges and like to know my stuff then and there um What else can I say oh I'm at Arise right now the reason I know I'm yep yeah, talking a lot but I gotta get you guys up to speed I'm at Arias right now because my car is running lean and I was like why the hell is my car running lean on idle like it's running lean on idle and I'm not building no boost so I'm like what the f why am I lean on idle so long story short uh, my coupler tore it was dry rotted and it's tore so I gotta get a new one so that's why I'm here put a new one on and then I should be able to build boost. My bumper still doesn't fit right, so I'm gonna to have to take my bumper off and cut it. I'll probably do that this weekend, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, because it just doesn't fit right on the passenger side. It just looks all stupid, it's not fitting flush. But that's because of the intercooler. So I gotta cut the inside of the bumper some more. I never really got to finish it up. But I gotta cut that some more and get it right. Um, 
that's about it. So I'm gonna stop yambering and I'm gonna go get this. Oh, also, if anybody knows, can tell me, my brake lights won't go off. I got the little thingy that goes on the uh, brake pedal on the top. It's like a little rubber little thing. And it's pressing the button and the brake lights still stay on. I looked under it and there's the sensor there, but there's nothing plugged into the sensor. So I need some help on that. Mind you, I have an automatic wire harness. So if y'all let me know, I'm gonna try to Google and find it out. Why am I going out of focus so much? My bad, y'all. I hate when it's out of focus. That shit bugs. There we go. I'm gonna go in here and stop yammering because it's about five minutes of me talking. All right, so AutoZone, they only had the length of, they were like barely shot two and a half inches. And I need something a little bit bigger. Pause, pause, big pause. Nasty minds. But anyway, hey, so I'm going to this place called RPM. And they specialize in after aftermarket parts. So I'm about to go see if they have it over there. It's about a mile away from where I'm at right now. So I'm just better go check it out and see if they have it. So hopefully they do. It's the place right here. Just walked in there. You know what I'm saying? Never knew this place was here. So shout out to them. RPM. They sell all kind of little. They had like head. They had like uh, different kind of headers in there and all kind of stuff, man. So they also tune there. And I also asked them about some work. Like they do uh catch can installations because I know I'm gonna need a catch can. I know everybody be telling you, you need a catch can running turbo. I know, I know, I know. But I asked them because after I get the point when I come back, I want to make sure I go to I want to go to a specific place to get all my work done. You know, if I get all my work done here, that'd be awesome. So might be doing that, might be doing that, which would be my catch can installation and all that stuff. So Oh, my tune. They said they charge 400 for tune. So I might either go here or I might go back to the other place. But well, you guys remember when I went to the other place and my car was about to die, though. Was no fault. I don't want to fault them for it, even though I know a lot of you guys do. I just try to like, you know, get people the people the benefit of the doubt, because my return my downpipe was over the strap. I don't know uh, if the owner did that or if the other guy that his helper did it and wasn't paying attention where the cat where the strap was or how close it was, and that's why it burnt the freaking uh, it burnt the the strap. And my car was off the dyno, so yeah. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I got the clamp. This is what I needed. So yeah, I better go ahead and put this on. Turn the car on. I shouldn't be running lean, so we'll see. I know I'm dragging this video out, but we gonna get there. We gonna get to the end of this result, okay? All right, y'all probably gonna hit me for not taking on the first test drive. This happens. Uh, I hit like four pounds of boost. And I heard it was like, ding, 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 ding. And I pulled over immediately. I heard it go a mile. That shit came off. So, yeah, it's not good. But luckily, I have some more of those bolts. Uh, and I'll use some Loctite. So, that's an easy fix. I'm not sure, I don't know, like, I'm pretty sure that shit was tight on there. I don't know what the fuck. <sighs> it's always something though. But the air fuse and everything were good. Uh, our, uh, no, actually no. Air fuel was still running in. I put the coupler on. It should still be intact. It is still intact, so it's right there. So I'm not sure where my leak is coming from. I'm not sure my leak is coming from y'all. I'm not sure what's going on, but <sighs> it's a task for tomorrow. I'm not ever gonna worry about that today. <clears throat> we went around the corner. The air fuels, I probably just need to get it tuned, so I'm not really worried about the air fuels that much. Because it only does it on idle. So But yeah man. Uh I'm gonna fix this tomorrow. I gotta get some Loctite. I might have some in the house. I don't know, but yeah, this happens. <sighs> Not sure. I don't know. I have no idea. 
It's always something. But I did hear the blow off valve. We did hear the blow off valve. So I was like, I was like, I, was like Ooh! I missed that sound. I gotta fix this bumper. I gotta fix that bumper. But it's because I have to, the inner fluid is hitting somewhere in here. It's like, how the, it's like how the inner core is hitting in there. So, my bad. So, I mean, I'll fix it eventually. It's not really my main concern right now. I was going to work the integrity today. I'm going to show y'all why not. As y'all can see, it's snowing. And the integrity is covered in snow. So, she not getting worked on today. I was gonna work on the integrity today. Didn't plan on. Huh. Didn't plan on. Come on, let's take our shoes off, Casey. Take out them shoes. Take out them shoes. And that's my jacket. Press a letter button. Say hi to the vlog, Casey. Take out the shoes. Take out the shoes. I'm gonna turn the heater on, okay? But I didn't plan to, um, I plan to work in the integra, I'm trying to. At least, I got ice all in my dang thing. They stopped planning to, uh, work on the integra today. Obviously, that didn't happen. I would say that happened because it's snowing. Um, I had, as you guys seen the last vlog, the I guess it's called a C clamp for the turbo. I think it's called a C clamp. You guys know I'm not really. I don't know a lot about Hondas or car parts like that. I be forgetting stuff. So, or I just don't know stuff, or I learn it and I forget it. <laughs> so, hey, just uh, you know, it is what it is, man. But uh, I'm actually better working on. The, I'm actually gonna record a vlog right now. <clears throat> Not record a vlog, but <laughs> I'm already doing it. I'm better go ahead and um. Uh, you see the snow? It is snow. You see the snow? I'm better edit a vlog right now, so you guys should be getting that vlog probably like two days ago. I think I'm gonna do one every other day. I'm gonna upload them. So, <clears throat> but that's the reason that I. Ain't, I didn't, I'm not doing a vlog today for the Integra because there's nothing I can do with freaking snowing outside. And it's not like when I was in my old place. When I was in my old place, I had a garage. I don't have a garage here in this apartment complex. So, that sucks. So, I know you guys are only going to have so many vlogs because, at least car vlogs, because I'm going to deploy. Sorry, I got OCD with this freaking lens. Because I'm going to deploy, so I really, I don't know what content I'll be able to make other than like reaction videos to be honest you guys there we go dang there we go other than reaction videos so I mean I can't really talk about what's going on out there or any kind of training or nothing like that so the thing I can really do is reaction videos and I still gotta get another MacBook so I'm very very limited to what I can do for like the next couple of months we'll say that so, I can't really say when I'll be back and when I'm going to be there. But for the next couple of months, I won't really be able to do anything. Guys, shh, 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 shh. I'm trying to talk to the vlog, man. I'm trying to talk to my peoples. He don't care. He don't care. But, all in all, I'm not really going to be able to edit, uh, do any kind of stuff except reaction videos. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the reaction videos. Hopefully you guys do send me some videos, some links to videos that I can react to on Instagram at DC underscore crush. Uh, I know you guys see that I got a car page, but I really don't be active on that page, especially if I don't have anything to post. Like if I got my car, well, I'm gonna post anything on there if I ain't got a car to post. So, uh, this is unexpected. This is gonna be like one of them slow vlogs. I'll probably get like, 59 views on this mob, you know what I'm saying? But we're gonna enjoy this snow. I'm waiting for this guy to go inside because I don't want people to feel weird when we coming outside with a camera and recording the snow. 
because you know how people be worried like they be feeling weird weirded out or yeah we we'll go to another room watch bet bet money he gonna come in here with that toy yeah they're following me Man, your boy got hella shoes up in there you know what I'm saying your boy got hella shoes y'all can't see that why does Bucky follow me, man? He love me so much, he just want me to see him play. But, <clears throat> I'm gonna go in here. We gotta be in separate rooms because I'm trying to vlog, Kaisa. So anyway, I mean, I don't really have nothing else to say other than next time I get some time, which would be in the next vlog, I'm actually gonna put the Loctite on the uh, turbo. I do have the other turbo still, the exact same turbo, but for some reason they were like flips. I don't know why, it's weird. So, <clears throat> the housing that is. This is really weird. So one I bought that actually came with the hoses and stuff like that and uh, the oil restrictor for the oil feed and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna take the bolts off the other one that was reverse flipped. I don't know how to say it. Long story short, I couldn't use it because the way the, the direction the turbo was facing. So what I'm gonna do is take the bolts off of there because I lost all the other bolts except for one that was holding onto the C-clamp. I was lucky that that freaking turbo housing didn't come off, honestly. But I'm gonna get those bolts off the other turbo, put Loctite, tighten it up, and hopefully the O-ring is still in good place. If not, it's gonna be a bit to take those freaking bolts out when I Loctite them. So yeah, but I don't wanna go through the trouble of seeing if the O-ring is on there, Pro probably not, cause I'm gonna take the whole housing off and the housing just moved up a little bit. So I, I, I assume that if I just push it down, put the freaking stuff on it, it should be good, hopefully. We'll see. We're going to find out together. But anyway, this is a short little video. hope you guys like this one, man. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. And I'm also thinking about reacting to some also some car type of videos. So just to keep, you know, the content kind of car related at times. So we'll see how that goes. But until next time, I'll see y'all in the next Upload deuces. What they call me, and I'm always by my dough. DC, what they call me, and it's motherfucking hoe. DC, what they call me, I say how it is. DC, what they call me, yeah, nigga, I'm with the shit. DC, what they call me, and I'm always by my dough. DC, what they call me, and it's motherfucking hoe. DC, what they call me.